When fishing as a kid, I used to catch a lot of bluegill sunfish, and I have to admit, I thought they were kind of boring. But I was wrong, because these common fish have a bizarre way of making babies. Hi, I'm Cameron, and this is Minute Earth. Bluegills, at least at first glance, seem to use pretty stereotypical mating tactics. The big, brawny males go head-to-head -head with each other for mates, the winner gets prime lake bed real estate and then digs a nest, which is not an easy job for a fish. But it pays off when females come along and pick the nicest nests, which usually belong to the biggest, brawniest males, and they lay their eggs for those males to fertilize. So it seems like the big bluegills would father all of the offspring, but in reality only about 80% of the bluegill babies are theirs. The rest are actually fathered by much smaller males. Many are no bigger than the females themselves. In fact, they look and act just like the females. They enter the nests as if they're going to lay eggs inside, but instead they try to fertilize any eggs that might already be there. Scientists call these little guys female mimics. But mimics aren't the only ones that get ahead by sneaking around. There are even littler, sneakier males that lurk in the shadows, and when a big guy's back is turned, they will shoot into the nest. It's a ballsy tactic. Seriously, his testes are 50% bigger compared to his body than a normal male's. And with all that sperm that he's able to produce, he can fertilize any eggs that the big guy might have missed. So for bluegills, males come in three distinct varieties. And actually, the males of several other species use the same trio of strategies. Certain birds, lizards, and aquatic isopods all have parental males, female mimics, and sneakers. But deception can never become the only, or even the dominant, mating strategy. Deceptive males need those big brawny males to build nests for them to sneak into. They also need the big guys to attract females and protect the fry. On top of that, there need to be enough normal males around so that deception stays relatively rare. The more common deception becomes, the less successful it is, and the fewer female mimics and sneaker males that are able to reproduce. Ultimately, brawny males, sneakers, and mimics coexist, which means it's not just the bigger fish that get to fry. To learn the ins and outs of bluegill sex, I spoke with researchers, read books, and opened enough browser tabs that I couldn't see their little icons anymore. But because I used the Tab for a Cause browser extension, those tabs did more than just indulge my curiosity and help make a fun video. They helped bring healthcare to people who need it the most. Here's how. Tab for a Cause displays ads on your newly opened tabs and then uses the money the ads generate to support charities like Partners in Health, who are determined to end the global healthcare crisis. Let's face it, you have to see internet ads anyway, so you might as well make them work for something good. If you also want to help donate advertisers' money to charity, download the Tab for a Cause browser extension from tabforacause.com slash minuteearth2 and just keep interneting on. Thanks.